Hey, it's Joy and Tim Crazy watching Star Girl season two, episode thirteen, Summer School, chapter thirteen. It's the season finale. We have one episode to beat Eclipso, and I'm stressed. I'm also very excited. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all of my Star Girl reactions on my Patreon. And let's go. Oh God. What I've done to the people in here. Her dad works late. But your mother was so concerned about you, Beth. She came oh. here. They're worried. Because they're so parents. Worried. And it's gonna kill them both. Holy shit. God, her parents go from being basically neglectful to being so concerned about her it's gonna kill them. Pat, we don't have Stripe or Rick. Ginny's sick and the Thunderbolt's missing. You got me. We don't want you. <laughs> Yeah, we've got enough negativity, thanks. What? You see, opening like a portal from his world to ours. I mean, he can do it, but I don't know that he can do it in a quick time frame. You can go meet the JSA, the American Dream. Mm -hmm. So we could fight a demon? Technically, he's more of a monster, really. I don't know that this should be Jakeem's first games, mission. Oh, God. Dr. McNider. Hi. Uh. Go find Beth. You sure? You're not in a suit. Yeah. You're just a dude. Oh, I hate this little brat. I mean, the act is very good. <laughs> so what do you? This mean? is going really well. Oh, I want a piece of you, Pat. Well, it's gonna be like that, huh? Uh huh. That's how it's gonna be. Is it because he's bringing the kids into it? Is it because he let the JSA kill someone and he didn't stop you it? One person, brainwave of all people, and you get weepy. <laughs> Cause she's a good person. Eclipso vision of Wildcat. Got what it takes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's not real. It's not real. Oh. We need Beth's goggles. Like Courtney needs to wear Beth's goggles. Courtney, he's not really there. Just stop fighting. For now, and assess. These kids into this mess. I agree, kind of. Your own ego. Uh, no, I think it was different than that. I think the kids were involved, and he's just trying to do the best he can by them. But oh. Never gonna do anything but disappoint yourself if you don't be yourself. Well, that's his dad. It's not going to be that easy. Holy shit. Oh, bless you, my love. Oh. Whoa. They are very good at fighting together, I have to say. I mean, he's still Eclipse, though. Rick, you're doing so amazingly, my love. Is he gonna go without the hourglass? My dad knew it wouldn't be fixed tonight. What do you mean? He's trying to protect you. Mm-hmm. Jakeem, he's going on without backup. But Mike, my love, there isn't very much you could do right now. The Thunderbolt could help. Oh my god, this guy! Well, can he wish for the correct part? On the edge of victory. Where are the normal people of Blue Valley? <laughs> Michael! Mike! Yeah, both your kids are now in peril. I mean, it would be kind of funny if every season Mike just came in at the last minute and just destroyed the bad guy, but... It's not working! Oh my god, this child! He's... Oof. I just, I can't see it being as simple as Mike and Jakeem as much as I want it to be. Oh, is he gonna absorb him somehow? Well, this has gone terribly. Oh, Mike. Hey, great show. Oh, Rick, you're, you're you are brave and you are everything and you are worthy alone. of the hourglass. But it's, 
to die. It lasts more than an hour. <gasps> yes, Rick! What the heck is that? <laughs> A friend. Oh, please destroy Cameron's painstaking painting of his dad. I'm sorry, Cameron. Guys, we all need to team up together! Oh my god! Who did um, Cindy call? Is that who she called? Or is this Starman? Finally arrived. Six years late. Reboot the system, okay, and quick! Holy shit! Mike, you just reboot that system. This is how he's gonna get to Courtney. After all I've done to your friends and family. Courtney, my love. How you feel. You feel love for your friends and family. That's what you feel most of all. The reason you feel hate, it's because you love them. You love your family and you love your friends. Oh my god. One Feeling hate is normal. All I needed. I've got my hooks in you now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Courtney, my love, you are stronger than this. I don't know if anyone can be, but if anybody can be, it is you. We're not killing this host. Oh no, oh my god. Someone! Help! Get them out of there! What do we do? Oh, oh lord. What's happening? <gasps> Come on, this dramatic yeah. bitch! Shade! What was the whole death scene in the yeah. about? Oh, Charles. You know, I've always had a flair for the dramatic. I told you he was a dramatic bitch. Beth, we don't understand what's happening. <laughs> what are you wearing in, and who is this man? Fight him! Oh. You have no idea what I did. Oh. This death is and only one can control. Oh. Oh, oh Lord. How are we, what, is her mum going to be the one to get through to her? Can the Green Lantern do it? Oh lord. Well, maybe two. I still don't trust our man, I don't know why. I think maybe just because he's been gone all this time. If the staff works for you, then you are chosen. Uh -huh. I like this, maybe I do like him. No, you are in love. See how much love you have in your life, my girl. You've brought light into these kids' lives when they didn't have much else. Have your family, my love. People that chose you. Be yourself. That's all. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Artemis. Hey, oh no, it's them. What did we miss? Oh my God, did they oh, break out of prison? So oh, of course. We have quite the team. Yes. Oh, double team! Is he not going to turn him into actual toast? I love that they're double using the staff. He's toast! <laughs> I knew he'd end up toast! <laughs> Starman was dead. Yeah. Yeah, we thought Dr. McNiter was dead too. I don't know that I trust his miraculous return. I did. We beat Eclipso because of you. Yeah, because of your goodness and your strength. The thing Eclipso did not understand is that there's good in everyone too. <laughs> That's the Courtney we love. Every single one of us. In the end, all Eclipso did was make me believe in people even more. I love you. That's why the staff picked you. It's mine. How are you alive? Take it back, Courtney. Okay. Well, maybe I can show you what it can really do. This I love. Did you know she was pregnant when everyone thought you died? 
has what? a child. Oh, he lost one, but Chuck, you have a ten-year-old son. Oh, no. and it's time. Oh God. Time for what? Time to tell you the truth about your family. Oh no. They can both do it. Are they related? Oh, because what if they tell him, like, Courtney and people murdered him and your dad was a really good guy and they were using you? Oh. I know Courtney won't agree with it unless you're on board. <sighs> but you made mistakes too. Not quite the same. You got a pass. Not quite the same. It means I should get a pass. I'm not following you. Are you going to apologize? She wants to join the JSA. I want to join the JSA. I am proud of her though for going to Yolanda about it. Of everybody. Oh. <laughs> Pulling him in that Ironic, apple tree. Grundy has a habit of coming back. Oh god, he's got a hole in his just have to bury him in the right place. Leave, my dear boy? Oh god. Well, you're not going anywhere. Oh my god. I've taken rather a like it to Blue Valley. Oh lord, what on earth is season three gonna be? So yeah. The focus will be on each other. And you best. Good, how it should we be. I'm going to be the best parents a superhero has ever had. <laughs> oh lord. I'm not gonna let you out of our sight. And we have so many. They're gonna go from being oh, neglectful oh, to helicopters. Nano. The house next door is sold. Ah. Who bought the house next door? I got it. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Who was it? Howdy. Neighbor. Good morning, Mr. Dugan. We brought muffins. Blue they day. should be in prison! How? Why? Oh no! They're in a small town in Nebraska that How does she know? appears to be populated with heroes yes. and villains. Yeah. Heroes and villains. Perhaps we should take a trip. No, thank you. To Nebraska. I'm, I'm really good if you don't, or at least could you like put a mask on first? Okay, this was a brilliant finale. Um, it almost feels like two episodes. Like the beginning, the fight was so intense and it kind of left you so like, how are we gonna get through this? And I think, I like that kind of, this show didn't dwell on the fight too much, kind of like in season one. Like you had a big fight and then we got this pets, the last bit of the finale to really decompress and deal with everything. Um, I, I love the way they all teamed up together. I love that Rick went into the fight with himself, like without the hourglass, but he had something on Grundy. Grundy's gonna come back. Cause I thought it was like, we kind of built up that whole thing. And then it was like, he just gets a hole through the chest. So I'm interested about that, about him coming back. Uh, maybe it would be kind of to let the poor guy rest, but he has a friend now, so that's something. Um, the whole fight was insane. Mike getting the stripe working, the Thunderbolt, poor Jakeem, like, hi, by the way, there are superheroes. Can you come to the epic battle against the big bad right now? I took a bit of a first step. Um, Beth's parents really took that better than I thought they would. Like, I don't think I would have taken it that well with my child, especially not my kid being, what, like 16, 17? Maybe if they're towards the late, like, if they're like 17 now, maybe I'd take it better, but I still think like they do that very well. And they do seem like they're gonna go from neglecting her to being helicopters, which, you know what? They, she knows they've loved her all along. The fact that the thing Eclipse was using to hurt them was their love for her in a weird way, it's quite nice because it shows you that that is their predominant fear. It wasn't like a missed deadline at work or something. Um, for Chuck, he gets his life back. I mean, nothing will ever replace his daughter. Nothing makes it okay that they lost her. But there's a, he has another child. He has a child he can give all his love to. He has a, a wife that Beth would have said, but she's remarried. You know, Beth didn't say that, which suggests that she's just raising his kid and hoping he's out there somewhere. So I feel like he can have as much of a happy ending as a man who's lost a child can have. Um, Sylvester, the fact that he came back, he joined the fight, he was right there with them. He was helping Courtney, he got through to her, and he doesn't want to play in the staff back, he just wants to help. Now having him around, as many adults as possible on this team, I fully support. But I'm just kind of 
ah, uh, I don't, I mean, I think I do trust him, but then I still am annoyed that we haven't got the story from him of like where he's been all this time and how he survived. Because if there's a good enough story, if there's a story I can believe about that he's, you know, how he recovered and he's only just got his memory back and that's why he was tracking Pat down, that is one thing. And also was that Mike's mum he was talking to in that diner? Um, that's fine, we can trust him and maybe he can be a helpful asset to have around. But I, any show where you have someone who's thought dead, who comes back and then just appears to be a wonderful good guy, my suspicions are raised. So I'm still going to be suspicious of him for some time. Um, I was even suspicious of Dr. Midnight, despite the fact that there wasn't really anything to come on there. Um, oh, Yolanda, I'm so proud of her for getting to a place where she's okay with what she did. And I think it's natural. It shows you that she is a good, compassionate person, that she struggled so much with killing someone, even someone as evil. And like he murdered his own son, evil. Um, she still struggled with that and that does show you what a good person she is but I'm glad she's made it through and the fact that she was the one to put her foot down and say we are not going to be doing that again we're going to figure out another way um Courtney being the one to fight through herself to save herself because her goodness was in there that I absolutely love I love plot lines like that where like the bad guy thinks they can overtake the good guy but the good guy's stronger because their love and their strength having one strand of hate especially hate that she only really has because that person has been hurting the people she loves it's never gonna win if she remembers i think part of why people like bad guys like that do win is because they overwhelm you and you kind of forget that you could fight back so sylvester using courtney then both using the staff i think it could make for a really interesting plot line i still don't trust the man cindy I am so fascinated about but I'm so happy I in season one I remember her like sitting in Courtney's bedroom there was like a point where they sort of were friends before she found out like and then they then they ultimately were very much the opposite and I've been rooting for Cindy to join their team and then I kind of thought oh maybe it's too far she's not really done anything that bad herself really has she I mean she kidnapped Mike it's kind of like the worst of it and Eclipso yes but she didn't she's an idiot but I think she's such an interesting character because I feel like after her father did horrible experiments to her and then got in her head she obviously killed her mother without meaning to and then her father just had complete control over her it's no wonder she ended up the way she did and i'm so glad i really hope we do get to see her joining the jsa now on the flip side if yolanda's like hell no those are my friends i don't want you near us i totally would understand that because from her point of view even if you take away the JSA stuff, Cindy's never really apologised for just the bitchy mean girl stuff she did that absolutely destroyed Yolanda's life, exposed her to bullying, cost her the love of her parents in like so, you know, what I feel like if I was Yolanda, I'd be like, well, maybe if you're, you know, sorry for what you've done, but she's never apologised for it. Um, for the personal stuff, even if we move aside from the super villainy stuff. Um, but I do hope she does ultimately join the team. Then Artemis and her parents. Now, have they been found not guilty somehow? Because they're living in the town they used to live in, so clearly they're not under false identities. She broke them out of prison. I'm so confused. Like, obviously they meant us to be confused, that's why it was like the penultimate, or the scene before the final scene, that's why they did the like, what the fuck moment, but what the fuck, and <laughs> how are they there, and can Artemis somehow join the JSA, because again, if we can get through to her, if we can get her some stable influences, her, her skills would be an asset to this team, um, ugh, just almost oh so much going, the shade's going to stick around, the next season is really going to be the season of frenemies, because <laughs> like this season we kind of had to work together with people that would otherwise have been our enemy, and now going forwards they're going to be our friends, and oh, I'm just so excited. Mike and Jakeem are making their own team, Mike's tried so hard to be on the JSA, and now he's like, I'm going to make my own team. I feel like they should just join the JSA at this point, they're going to turn 16 soon, that's about the age Courtney was when she became Star Girl, and like, Mike's gonna have Stripe, but then Pat's also gonna want to fly Stripe. I'm just, I'm really excited to see where the next show goes. Um, something I love about this show is that the kids feel like kids. They don't always look like kids, but they feel like kids in how they act, in their responses to things. It's, you know, it's one of the things I think that has set off my, but they're just children, alarm bells so much, is because they have them really well being like kids and the fact that you know this was called summer school chapter one chapter two chapter three and then the next season seems like it's going to be called frenemies whether they actually call it that or not but i feel like there's kind of the real vibe with these characters is you believe they are kids um another kid i'm very worried about is cameron now i am glad somebody is telling him about his eyes powers before he accidentally freezes people to death but obviously it being his grandparents who loved his father and clearly believed in his father's ideals and everything. And his father was the type of villain who believed he was the good guy. 
I'm scared about Cameron because I do feel as though they're going to tell him, your father was a good man, he was wonderful, he had a project to try and save everybody, he was going to make the world a better place, and then the evil JSA, including Corny, and the, all of these people, they murdered him, and then they're not going to know that Cameron has that. Now that kind of plotline, ultimately down the line, Cameron can find out the truth and make his own decisions and join the JSA. That is something I would like, because so far I have really liked Cameron. You know, he has seemed like a really nice sweet guy since we first met him and it was almost surprising that he was the son of the supervillain because he seemed so nice whereas like when Henry was the son of a supervillain you were like oh, that could explain the dickishness that obviously underneath all he was quite nice um so I'm scared about what's gonna happen with Cameron especially as they're not gonna know that he knows but really they've been a little bit too lax with him because surely they know his grandparents know some stuff about what his dad was up to I do almost feel like they should have sat him down and told him but I don't know how you tell someone we murdered your dad. But yeah, that is that is almost the thing I'm most scared, excited for next season. Then obviously the big plot line with the Helix Institute and their experiments and whatever they're doing, they've got Jenny's brother, so hopefully that means she will be coming back to us as well. I'm so excited to delve into that. I'm very scared as well. I'm just ugh, I'm just excited about everything. I can't wait for season three. I've loved season one, I love season two, I love these characters. I'm scared for these kids. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, and thank you for watching.